Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and a very warm welcome to Travel Vlog Jamie. I'm on board Piano Arcadia on a festive cruise. Happy Christmas, by the way. And this is my walk-in tour of the whole ship. Every passenger deck, I'm gonna get my steps up while you sit in the warm, comfy with some nibbles and a nice hot drink. Shall we do this? Let's go. Piano Arcadia is a mid-sized adults only ship and has a normal operating capacity of 2,094 guests and 866 crew. She is 952 feet in length with a beam of 106 feet. Arcadia was built in 2004, originally ordered by Holland America Cruise Line in 2000. In 2003, she was allocated to Cunard Line to become their Queen Victoria. Shortly before her launch, the decision was made to transfer the ship to Piano Cruises fleet. As a result, Arcadia has a Cunard style mast similar to those found on Queen Elizabeth II and Queen Mary II. She was last refurbed in 2007 17. Yes, she does need attention in places and is expected a refresh in late 2024. Alrighty, it's time to explore this ship starting with deck 11. Towards the front you can expect an open deck with loungers. Midship you have East Bar and Sindhu Speciality Asian Dining Experience. Towards the aft there's more deck space for lounging and the sports court. I want to point out as well that just above East Bar and Sindhu is this open space which is now used for lounging. This is officially deck 12, although it doesn't appear on the deck plans. It does afford good views of the ship and of course the ocean, but we're here for those venues. So let's head back to deck 11 and get exploring. On Arcadia, you'll find elevators and staircases forward, midship and aft. Four of the midship elevators are actually panoramic, so when you are ascending or descending, you'll see fabulous views of the ocean. We'll check those out a little bit later. East Bar is officially the highest bar on board Arcadia. A great bar any time of day or evening, but also just before heading to Sindhu Speciality Asian Restaurant. If you're interested in a full review of Sindhu, just search PO Arcadia Four Night Christmas Cruise to Amsterdam. To reach the sports court, we need to head back down to deck 10, head towards the aft, and then back up another staircase. Look, I'm sorry about that. You know I didn't design this ship, don't you? And before we reach that court, let me show you what's on deck 10 sun deck. You have the crow's nest, an events room, passenger cabins that were added along with Arcadia's reefer back in 2008, open deck space to relax, entertainment venue the retreat, and plenty more deck space to enjoy the open air. Directly to the right are the panoramic elevators. Don't you worry, we'll take a trip on those a little bit later. And here's the aft staircase you'll need to access the sports court and golf nets. Here's a reminder what that looks like on the deck plans. I promise I'm not trying to confuse you, back down now to deck 10. And a quick reminder of the venues and facilities on deck 10 sun deck.
Alrighty, back up to deck 11 and this location right at the front of the ship. And back to the deck plan for a cheeky little peep and I'm so sorry about this yo-yo up and down, up and down. Like I said, I didn't design her. As you've seen, Arcadia certainly benefits from a lot of open deck space and lounge areas. below you can see the huge retractable roof covering the Neptune pool. Of course we'll get there shortly. I'm going as fast as I can, I promise you. Oh my goodness, and we finally get to see the crow's nest and events room on deck 10, the sun deck, plus a peep at our cabin S21. And let me show you my secret passage into the S-Deck cabin corridor. Please don't slam the door, my cabin is right next to it. For the full tour and review of this cabin, just search Travel Blog Jamie Piano Arcadia Solo Inside Cabin. And that's exactly what you're looking at now. And yes, I was super blessed at the end of my corridor, you'll find the crow's nest. Don't forget those filthy little paws of yours. Of course, you'll find nightly entertainment at the Crow's Nest. This room is used for a multitude of events, including weddings. The retreat is home to a range of events, none more popular than the dance classes up here. All right, I can't go in, but I'm still having a peep. Pointy finger indicates going downtime. And welcome to Lido Deck, Deck 9. Here you'll find the gym, thermal suite, hydro pool, spa and salon, steam room, saunas, the Neptune bar, grill and pool, plus hot tubs. As we progress to the aft, you've got the Belvedere buffet, Aquarius bar, pool, hot tubs and fabulous aft views.
by the way, the pools on board Arcadia are indeed heated. The temperature will certainly depend on your type of itinerary. On a colder itinerary, expect them to be a bit toastier. Unlike the Neptune pool, I didn't see a hoist here. And yes, I'm heading into the Bun Fight Belvedere Buffet just for you. Oh, the things I do for you. The Belvedere is open for breakfast, lunch, afternoon tea, dinner and late night snacks. Oh, the escape, thank you. Straight ahead, you'll find the Neptune bar, grill and pool. If you have any mobility restrictions, as you can see, there's a hoist by this pool. The saunas here are included in your cruise fare. Continuing straight on to the front of the ship for the Oasis Spa and Salon. Yep, there's a gymnasium on board as well. You lucky people, look how busy it is. If you'd like to see a full tour and review of the Thermal Suite, just search P&O Arcadia Four Night Christmas Cruise to Amsterdam Part 2.
Okay, time to head from deck 9 all the way down to deck 3, prom deck. Those decks in between are where you'll find the majority of passenger cabins. Welcome to deck 3, prom deck, where you'll find, uh, well, the prom deck, the upper tier of the Palladium Theatre, shopping arcade, the screening room cinema, the cafe a vivo, even more shopping, the library, the piano bar, more shopping, the gallery, and the upper tier of the Meridian main dining room. The Ocean Room is another sneaky events room often used by passengers for games, cards, etc. Cafe Vivo for your speciality tea and coffee. You can read that as supplements apply here. And just through here, the Screening Room Cinema. Whilst films here are included in your cruise fare, you will need to get a seat ticket from reception in advance. You too can hemorrhage money at a hair's pace in the shopping arcade. You'll never believe what they have in the library. Mmm, nope, still not coming to me. night the piano bar is certainly one of Arcadia's prime spots for a drink I should know If you're wondering what all these clumps of molecules are doing to my right, the people, two words, ciggies, booze. The now defunct photo gallery, because quite simply, there are no photographers on board anymore. Straight ahead for the upper tier of the Meridian main dining room.
And of course, prom deck would be nothing without the, you guessed it, promenade. And this one circles the whole ship. So if you're a jogger, you can go round and round and round and round. And of course, magnificent aft views from this prom deck. And here, just approaching the front of the ship. And deck two, otherwise known as F deck, two F deck. Here you'll find the lower tier of the Palladium Theatre, the Monte Carlo Casino, the Rising Sun Pub, the Art Gallery, multi-purpose venue, the Globe, two bars, Intermezzo and Spanky Bar, I mean Spinnaker Bar. And finally, the lower tier of the Meridian Main Dining Room.
Ocean Grill is a speciality dining venue and unique to Arcadia. You won't find this restaurant on any other of the P&O ships. Of course, some of you might remember Ocean Grill featuring on Oriana. God rest her soul. Arcadia benefits from both freedom and club dining. Let's go down one more time and yes we made it to deck one G deck also known as one G deck here the lowest tier of the Palladium theater passenger cabins loyalty and cruise sales reception the tours office and more passenger cabins. It would be remiss of me to not show you the laundrette. There are three on board, decks four, five and six midship. And as promised, here's a quick trip up those panoramic lifts. Oh, by the way, butterfly not included. And that concludes my walking tour of P&O Arcadia. I'd love to hear from you. What do you think of this ship? 
Thank you so much in helping me reach 20,000 subscribers. You're awesome. And today's shout outs go to my patrons. You can become a patron by searching patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on X, Threads, Instagram, Patreon, and YouTube. Bye.